Hello everyone, welcome to another video. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the NG zone. So what is the NG zone? So basically the Angular used the zone.js to trigger any of the async call uh, or any of the async event uh, that is going to be a render on a view. So if there is any of this event or any of the promises or, or async call, then Angular need to obtain in the view. So, so to use that, Angular can Angular will use a zone.js. And the Angular also provide the ng zone services where we can control and we can also write our our own ng zone services uh, to render on a view. So we're gonna talk about that one. I'm gonna show you the little example how it really works, and I'm gonna use the ng zone run outside of Angular, and uh, it also called the ng zone run on this video. So let's begin. So I created the uh, the app here, uh, and this app is basically uh, created from the CLI. And here is a file. It's a tool set. It's called the tool set. And this is a standard uh, template which is uh, provided by the Angular here. So I'm gonna directly go to the uh, app.html file, and I'm gonna remove everything, and I'm gonna type test here. All right, so it's gonna print it out the test here, and the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the uh, main.ts here, and if you go in this document here, this is a very good document, uh, which is in Angular website here. So on the bottom here, we could use something called ng loop, noop, sorry. So if we use a ng noop, then we what we does what we do in our app is we disable the all the event that the zone the uh, will trigger to the Angular. So what happen if I use the uh, ng zone noop here? All right. So to show that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my app component here, and in app component I'm gonna implement my ng on init. So ng on init here. And definitely, I need to import my onEdit function, which is right here. So on init function, I'm gonna set a title, and title is called uh, food. All right. So I'll just make this. I'll just copy this, and I'll just put it on the bottom here, just to make a little better. So once I click the bottom here, and this is a title, and if I go back to my app here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print my title here. So now this title is going to change as a food because I change it to food here. All right, this is which is okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called set uh, timeout, and this is call uh, async here. Uh, and on this call, after two seconds, I wanna change the title to food. So what happened after two seconds? Also, it doesn't even change. If I refresh after two seconds, it doesn't even change because it doesn't. So it doesn't even change my view. So whenever here is a list, it's provided. There are a couple of the list. It's like micro talks, like promises or async call. Then it will deactivate that. The, basically, the zone, uh, ng zone will uh, trigger, uh, let the Angular know that we need to update the view. But if we disable it, then this will not even work. The set timeout, this everything doesn't even work. All right. So what we will do here is basically we will remove this and now it will work. So now if I remove this and it will refresh, now after two seconds, it will change to the food, which is working fine. So this is the standard way of working fine. So the first thing what I'm gonna talk about for this on this is ng zone. So we could also use something called ng zone service. And ng zone, we can import the ng zone here. And in ng zone, we need to import not in a here but in our constructor so i'll create a constructor here so on my constructor i will put the ng zone which is okay so on init inside i will create the ng not init but ng zone here and ng zone has a one function called run outside of angular all right so we're gonna run this function which is outside of angular so if i run this set timeout outside of angular then angular doesn't know that my view is going to update after two seconds so it just refresh now and my view is not going to update at all because angular doesn't know that uh, this function is even running it 
all right maybe it does but the view doesn't doesn't trigger because we we said that okay the zone service run the outs uh, run the any event in, in below here outside of angular all right so it doesn't know so there is a to, to let them know that okay now okay angular you need to update uh, because the zone is, is triggering something then we need to run something called run so if i do like a run function here now and i could also put this inside it or maybe what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna inside the set timeout after two seconds i'm gonna run the ng zone and i'm gonna update this now so after like two seconds it's going to update it the model so this is how the angular uh, run outside and angular zone is working in angular uh, framework and that's all for this videos guys uh, i'm gonna put uh, more videos on angular or react or any of the uh, tech or backend if you guys like the backend uh, videos such as like spring boot and i'm gonna do more OAT and spring boot or laravel uh, videos and please do subscribe my channels and Hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now, guys.